Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Persona 4 Golden Run. We take a quick trip back a couple months just to hang out with AI and finish the social link before progressing back through, as well as taking our final exams and going on the ski trip that Yosuke has been talking about. I hope you all enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. So if you notice the date, I'm a little bit back, right? This is because I mixed Ayane. So what I'm gonna do, because we have all that free time at the end, I'm gonna push uh, I till tomorrow because it's supposed to be with Yosuke and then push Yosuke back until the next available moment um, the reason I'm doing this is again so we can max out all the social links um, and we have so much free time at the end we can still hang out with our friends before exams we can't with her or there are weekends we can hang out with our friends and we can't with her so I'll kind of play around with the calendar a little bit. Everything's going to be the same. I'm going to do everything still that we did before. I'm still going to follow that pretty precisely. Um, but I'm going to get this done. You guys are going behind music room. You attend a band rehearsal. You played your trumpet with passion. Your expression is increased. Ayani's trombone is playing a beautiful harmony. Ayani, you sounded great today. Huh? huh? Really? Yeah, I got totally lost in your solo. You've been working hard and it sounds like it's really paying off. Your tone is much better than before. And if I didn't know better, I'd say you're actually enjoying it now. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. That reminds me, I've been thinking about getting us a manager. You've done a lot for us, Ayani, but it's about time you moved on. Huh? Uh, um, you, you mean you don't need me anymore? What? Er, no, you've got the wrong idea. I like doing these things, cleaning, balancing the budget, setting up our performances. I thought I was helping out. Uh, listen, what I mean is, you've done a great job. I just think you've been, we've been too reliant on you. You're, you're an able musician now, and we shouldn't be making you do all the grunt work by yourself. Captain. Well, uh, okay, that's that. That's a wrap for today, guys. We're done. Going home. <laughs> wow, that was great news. It's like I'm a different person now. This might be the first time I've actually liked myself. And it's all because I met you. Um, here, take this. Ayani put something in your hand. A handmade ticket. Ayani Matsunuga in concert date TBA. Don't laugh, okay? Ayani is laughing awkwardly. That's the proof of my determination. I figured it was time to grab a hold of my dream. I'm always using the word if when I talk about my music reaching someone, but from now on, it's gonna be when. To really make it happen though, I know I have to keep trying. I can't just look the other way anymore. I made this for you because um, you're the one who taught me all these things. I'm going to keep playing my best so that someday you'll be able to hear my music for real. Ayane is looking up at you with admiration in her eyes. Your relationship with Ayane has grown deeper. Thou art I, and I am thou, thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes, to see the truth, we bestow upon thee, the ability to create Asura, the ultimate form of the summer color. The Ayani Matsunaga social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Ayani Matsunaga social link. Your power to create personas of the Sun Arcana has reached its maximum. You've trained insane as force, a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Sun social link, you can now fuse Ayane, Asura, the highest of the high. I hope I can help you like you helped me, Senpai. If there's ever a time when you're in trouble, like maybe you lose sight of who you really are, the way I did, please think about me. Think about how I was able to muster up my courage. I'll always be rooting for you. Ayane nods firmly, and that is the end of the soul. You pass some special time with Ayane. Got some uh, bad news. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that quest after all. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. But if you watched my video, you'll know that I went back and spent the day with uh, Ayane earlier in the week and kind of pushed a couple people back. However, I promise I got everyone done otherwise. So... We good for Sun stats, right? His is upgraded. Ooh, I'm missing Chie's upgrade. I think that's the last thing I, might, I forgot to do, which I'm probably gonna do. I might do today. Yesterday. Yeah, today's supposed to be a movie day, but we'll go. We'll get Chie's thing done real quick. So I'm just gonna skip through that because we already saw. It. Oh, can I not? Maybe I can't. Oh well. That happened. It's no big deal. I'm not like... 
super worried about it. Um, just another movie thing, we'll skip through this. Um, I went to do the questing in the TV to get the items we needed. I did change the party up. I took uh, Teddy instead of GA. Just he was better suited for it. You're back. The ice damages and stuff, so it just made more sense to do that. Um, I'm pretty confident if we go to the shrine today, the Lady of White's still not there, which is kind of the downside to everything. Did I finish the scooter? I don't even know where I'm at anymore. I did finish the scooter. Cool. Well, I guess I can kind of do what I want today. Can we get a boost for doing all of this last time? Knowing that you built these fills you with a sense of accomplishment as if you take taking a step forward towards your childhood. Yeah, okay. What happens if we do all the, uh, the dolls? Right, we have all of them. There's only four of them though, right? Oh no, we have a Mokai doll. I don't remember getting that. Seeing it fills you with a sense of accomplishment. Cool. It's another way to get a step boost for everything. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Um, we kind of got the night to do whatever we want. I think we just call it though. We've done everything. We'll 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 make envelopes. Why not? Might as well get the money for it. If you remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Is this a dream? You think back on memories of Marie. Bring, 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 bring. Hello, I apologize for interrupting your morning. I thought it would be best to inform you of my progress in the search for Marie. Thank you. I have located her. However, she's in a realm not that of a man. It will not be easy for you to set foot in that place. Please allow me just one more time so I may make preparations. As I have said before, when I am done, I shall call for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. She is not in a place of man. Marie's whereabouts have been identified. You now need to wait until Margaret comes for you. Classes have ended for today. Your advancement exams will begin next week. It will be the last test you take at the school. Woo! Last test we take! Um, it's another free day. We can really do whatever we want here, whether it be TV or farming or fishing or, or what. Um, we don't really have anything left to do. Um, so I'm just going to go home. Just progress it. Like, we're in the late game, we're kind of in the end game, we can do a lot of stuff. Like, most of it right now is just kind of boosting stats. Um, but, I, uh, I kind of don't care. <laughs> we're getting near the end of it, we've done just about everything we could. Um, that we can finish at least, so there's really no point in trying these other tricks to do other things. Um, well, she's gonna be here tonight, right? Yep. I came to offer my Fuda to celebrate my child's 7th birthday. However, I'm so hungry I can't even walk the stream full. Do you have any gold food you can spare? Yes. This is an expression of my thanks. Please take this. King Gui Stone. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, the way this works is over the next couple nights that she's here, you give her a different fish and it slowly builds up. And then once you complete it three times, she 
opens up a list of stuff you can buy in exchange for. So it takes three nights of her being there to even do it. Um, so it's not like I could do one night and come back. And with the quest not being available after the fifth, um, there's really just no point. Um, rubber band gun, huh? 35 and 95. It gives extra XP. That's interesting that it works that way. Animal Paw, Christmas Wreath, Santa Fan, Spring Boots, Happy Maracas, Yoshi Sensei. They all do that. Okay, cool. Good to know. Is there anything I can make that's better? Probably not. Yeah, a lot of them need all these crazy stones, which I'm sure you get from her, so that's kind of the reason. Um, yeah, so the guide I used kind of wasn't the best, right? It's kind of hurting us in, these, in this moment. Um, I did find another one on PSN Profiles that if you want to go trophy hunting, you can. You don't really need to do all the quests, I don't think, but I think it covers it anyhow. Um, but yeah, it happens. It is what it is. That's, that's one of the hard parts of this game is when you don't know what your schedule looks like and if you can't stay on top of things, you'll miss out. Um, we didn't miss too much. We'll miss two quests at the end um, just for some items, like cosmetic stuff, so it's not like Deal Breaker. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that'd be the breaks. He just goes to Chogal again. So again, we go back home. In progress, we're gonna try to. I'm gonna try to knock out finals today um, to get that cleared out, and then that way, those are done and behind us, and then we can take our screenshot. Um, today I'm studying for my life class. I'm supposed to help out at home. Life class? Oh, you mean life environment studies? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Once I'm done with this, my teacher said I don't need to study on weekends anymore. What can I help out with? Well, you washed the dishes earlier, so you've helped out already? Mm. Oh, okay. Then that's what I'll write about. Nanko is doing her best to write down her thoughts on doing the dishes. When I wash dishes, they get clean. It makes dinner taste good. When dinner tastes good, everyone smiles, so I like washing dishes. I didn't know that's how she saw things. She's such a great girl. I was thinking the same. I'm proud of her. Huh. Yeah, thanks, Train. <clears throat> Hold on. Thank you. Now I'm caught up. Thanks, Dad and Big Bro. It seems Nanako has succeeded in catching up with her lessons. You feel closer to Jima and Nanako. Since Nanako has finished studying, you put her to bed and return to your room. <laughs> this is the last free day. Oh no, we have the next two days. Uh, no. Today's the last one. And then tomorrow is just, uh, study. From Yosuke. How's today going? Everything good? Ski trip next week, the 11th. Two days, one night, all fun. <clears throat> I got us a room. We can rent boards and close there. Let's ace our test and enjoy the last big event of the winter. Lates. You're now scheduled to go on a ski trip with everyone else for two days starting February 11th. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the shopping network. I can make a model during the day, so we're going to do that. Silently and diligently assemble the complex pieces according to the instructions. Diligence increased. Immediately after applying the glue, you realize you weren't supposed to do that yet. The model's been completed. Horn scooter. That's what we're supposed to do at night, but I say, screw it. I don't care. Oh, you finally came down. Go upstairs. I'll make more. I'm just kind of speeding through the, the last part here, because again... It's not like we can do anything, so we're kind of just getting to the story. All our social links are done, we don't need a stat boost, so we don't need to work. Um, yeah, we're just kind of doing it. Your year end exams begin today and continue until next week. You should try to school. All right. We give exams, so I mean, this is going to go pretty quick, right? We've done these before, just answer the questions and go through these events in the morning. Oh. Good morning, Train Coon. The advancement exams start today. Did you remember to study for them? Gina seemed anxious, but me, I'm kind of relieved. I miss things like exams and schoolwork. This is just another sign of normal life slowly coming back. I'm with you there. Hmm, everyone's been their old selves around town and at school, too. The ski trip this weekend might be our last special outing. Let's ace those exams so we can focus on having the trip. 
Advancement exams, day one. The word alphabet comes from words alpha, and what the other one? Better, beta, or bet? Beta. Let's get a chosen correct answer. How was the theory that the pyramids were built by slaves disproven? Attendance logs, contacts, employee ID, resume, uh, attendance logs. I feel you've chosen the correct answers. Something you wouldn't associate with like ancient times. They actually kept track of people who showed up. <laughs> like, especially if, especially if they were slaves. Advanced things exams. Day two. What drink name means berry demons? Oh, is this the Toshi? No, it's Toso. Oh, 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 they almost got us. There's a medical term for brain freeze. Uh, this thing. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. It was Senfopalatine Ganglioneurologia. Day three. What is the Japanese zodiac equivalent to cat in the tiny Vietnamese zodiacs? Rabbit. What vegetable was used to make the first jack o' lantern? Turnips. You should have chosen the correct answer. Oh, these are flying by faster than I thought. We're not even doing like morning dialogues or anything. We're just ripping. I like it. Advancements exams. Day four. What color were the pyramids when they were first built? Gold, white, black, and white. Is that limestone? We learned that recently. What gets mixed with snow in Europe that sometimes causes it to turn red? Uh, Sahara Desert sand, right? Hey, event. Sit. Morning, Senpai. Today's the last day of exams. Uh, this week has been so stressful. But the ski trip's tomorrow. I can't wait to stay the night with everyone. Say, how are you skiing? How are you at skiing? I haven't done it in a while, so I'm worried I might be a little rusty. I'll teach you. Huh, you will? Hooray! Well, we'll be there for two days and one night, so there'll be plenty of skiing. Yeah, I'll take you up on that offer. You're the best running kid. All-time MVP favorite character. It's the last day of the exams. You answered every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your head. Yum. Writing them down, jotting them down, nice and quick, lickety split. Today was the final days of the exams. The ski trip is wrong. You decided to go straight home. You're back. So you're home. I am. Ski trip is wrong. You should return to your room and rest early. See? Easy day. Easy day. We are there. Ski trip time. Story events. Here we come. Today is the day of your ski trip with your friends. It will be in your it'll be your last big memory of the winter in Nineveh. You endeavor to have as much fun as possible. That's a little animation scene. You like it? The rest house food. <laughs> yeah! Yosuke, you're pretty good. She and Yosuke yeah. snowboard makes sense. Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! Sir. <laughs> Struggling a little bit, huh? You gotta open up your stance. Do you get it? Come on. Sir. It's, it's easier said than... Huh? Ah! <laughs> Damn, that hurt. Classic. Yep. So sorry. And again. <laughs> Teddy and you can go racing. <laughs> Up and over. Appreciate that. I love that he's skiing the mascot costume too. That's pretty great. Does a perfect flip? Nope. Lands on his head and rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Lovers 06, what a sweatshirt. Oh, Teddy Snowman. You ski down the slopes a number of times. Enjoying the time with your friends. Whew. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. <laughs> it's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! <laughs> you guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My <laughs> legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. Frosty the Snow Bear, he says, eh? We've got tomorrow, too, so let's call it a day. I wish we could Aren't do snow sports. Chie? I didn't even notice I just don't it have the now. angles for him. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. <laughs> That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. I also realized everyone's getting normal gla There's something like, more important snow glasses right and now. Rosacea is using snow glasses. Soul is a fish, right? Right, like what everyone's got some real the meat? mask, the visors, meat. and she's just got actual. How much of a carnivore are glasses. I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef or pork or even chicken. Yeah. She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Neat. Eat Teddy. Everyone turns to look at Teddy. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? Sure has. No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan. Finished skiing for today and decided to return to the launch. Evening. After dinner, everyone gathered in the lounge. Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Tuh. Sheesh, what's he up to now? Bean you Teddy? say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... No. Oh. Yep, good call. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? <laughs> Yes, let's Why play Why don't we cards. go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree, too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? 
Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. <laughs> that one time during shooting was enough for me. Raz is a pretty ghost. Good Stop to know. It! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff too. Once we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark, but his room didn't have one. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. <laughs> Folklore has little valid scientific <laughs> now evidence. Now of them too, wow. It's a result of cultural that's significance that got me off guard. and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? <laughs> yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? I love them. We love them scary stories. Oh, I personally so don't. I don't really care for them. Got any it's not that I hate them or I'm afraid of them. I just sleep? don't care. <laughs> Jeez, everyone's freaking out. It'd be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that. Shut up, Moranji. Why Moranji. are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? Got some slayers. You start calling slayer. me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Let's see. Ooh, it was music. over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Oh. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what mm. was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. I wonder if this is something to do with Persona 3. morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead they said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one your story is full of inconsistencies wait but i think i've actually read a police report like that uh -oh. that's not denying it you're supporting it <laughs> wait did she die well, I think she turned up okay. Huh. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? On a trip, one night, just like this. So to me recently. I can't do this. You're going to do this to us too? <laughs> you said to tell them a story, you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Late at night. He heard crying. He woke up in a blue room. He woke up in a blue room. Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. What was that? <laughs> I heard something. I heard something just now. Teddy's back. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. <laughs> anyway, keep going. 
We can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Hanako and Kastro Walkie Monsters. Creepy man with a long nose. You ever tell the story of Vigor? It's freaky. Something about a nose that long? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, uh, blackout? Please tell me Igor's oh, in the room. Oh, shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! The, hang on! Where's the switch? Oh, it's He's crushing the snack. How dare you? <laughs> You've been gone. She's you hiding. think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you. Get him? <laughs> yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Oof. You. Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. <laughs> and, and what happened after that? She's still interested. The night goes on. Interesting, interesting. It's day two of our ski trip. Second day of the ski trip. You decide to spend your time on the slopes until sunsets. All right, time to hit the snow. Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. <laughs> I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? <laughs> Shut up. Who'd want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? Stop. I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao Chan's size and Yuki Chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Okay, thankfully. <laughs> Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai. Hold it right there. Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too, you know, You've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke Senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko Senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? <laughs> so, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, senpai. Let's go. Her logic is a hundred percent ironclad. <laughs> Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? <clears throat> yeah, she's been doing this for months. The reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Crap, you're right. You're right. I want to make memories with Senpai too. <laughs> Sometimes when you say, say things, yeah. I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Th then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. I'm um, ski hey. tracks of love. Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. I think everyone's staring at you, so hopefully it hurts. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Yeah. Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. 
<laughs> Thanks. I really just wanted to see you. No prop. You've got a partner who understands your needs. <sighs> well, let's go enjoy the slopes. <laughs> we plan to make a date today of fun. Everyone is doing the slopes. Kanji is helping Nato practice. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Nato kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No, not at all. <laughs> Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in, or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. But, but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. <laughs> you never said anything like that to me. You already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? <laughs> like a rocking pass again. They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Oh, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. Easy. Then. I feel bad Easy. that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? <laughs> I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Um... Right! <laughs> I guess not to. I'd rather get yours there. I'll catch y'all. Whoa, what are you getting so fired up about? I don't really see why you're so intense about this. If you're gonna catch me, then I'm gonna jump right into your arms. Um, I can trust you then? Well, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. Interesting, Just we're still getting stat with social boosts. Teddy coming by again on his stomach. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis! <laughs> Penguin slid down I the mountain. I think I'm going to walk. Time passes. You have fun on the slopes. Sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slope? Gotta go with the lady. You decide to ask you could go to ski with you. My lover. You and you could go enjoy your time together on the mountain. My legs are all wobbly. Snow plowing all the time is pretty tiring. I think doing downhill runs is really fun. When I'm just focused on skiing, I can forget about all these other things and empty my mind. Have I ever told you this before? I didn't really like my name Yukiko from the start. Oh no? It means snow girl. Everyone gets this impression of quiet calm. Something that melts away soon, that kind of image. But I don't hate it anymore. You and everyone else taught me. <laughs> snow is the reason why we can even go skiing today, right? Everyone has different faces. They can look for a new face as well. This is the first time I've ever gone on a trip with friends, and I'm having so much fun. We have to do this again. Come again with everyone. Let's make it just us next time. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I want to come here just with you, too. Then, when we do, will you teach me how to ski slower, too? No. But just bombing down the hill is still the best. Should we start heading back? It looks like it's about to start snowing again soon. It is. Oh, snowing. which way is it to the lodge?
Could be right. Are we lost? You're not too sure either? Well, whichever way we go, we're not going to get lost. If we take the wrong way, we'll just take the lift back up. Anyway, let's get going. Now with rapidly decreasing any visibility, you decide to somehow make your way to the lodge. Oh, jeez. You've walked quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. Is the lodge really this way? I don't remember passing through such a deserted place. Ugh. I hate to even think it, but would we be lost? Hey, are you okay? I'm thankful that you're walking ahead, but you have to be tired too. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm pretty okay, so... Oh, no, maybe I'm not. The snow looks like a futon to me. I'll see it no matter what. If we keep walking, we'll get there. We're not supposed to walk on top of futons, though. I'm delusional. Go seems to be at our limit. Look, there's something over there. Isn't that a cottage? Maybe there's someone. Oh, I don't know if anyone's there. But if we can at least wait there until the blizzard calms down. Let's go check it out. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse me. Is anyone there? There's no answer from wait. inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creepy old cottage. That's for sure. Door was un unlocked, but there's no one inside. It's dark in here. I wonder why it wasn't locked. It's been abandoned. Still, I'm glad it wasn't. If we'd stayed out there, we might have been in serious danger. Yuko looks anxious. Are you cold? Yeah, a little. But now that we're out of that terrible storm, I'll be okay. Out of fire. Hey, do you have your cell with you? I dropped mine in the snow a couple of times, so I don't want to risk turning it on until it dries. You do you have your cell phone? If there's a signal, you may be able to call for help. There's no signal. Yep. <laughs> Screen reads on the service, it seems there's no signal here. I see. It would have been nice to get a message out to somebody, even if we are stuck here. Do you think the others are still skiing out in this weather? Probably I wonder not. when the blizzard will calm down. Even though we're shielded from the worst of the snow and wind, we could be trapped here by the cold. Huh? The two of us? Alone? No, oh, now she's coming around. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we don't know for sure that we'll be stuck here all night. I'm sure we'll be able to get in touch with Chie and the others at some point. That's why we'll be all right. Even if it's cold, we just need to warm each other until... Uh, warm <laughs> each other. Sheesh, what am I saying? But truth be told, we do need a way to keep the cold away. <laughs> just giving into it. Yes, you could go give in to your temptations. Oh, there's a sunken hearth here. There may be something we can use to start a fire. Give me a second. At the end, we'd keep that stuff near here. You find old newspaper and some matches. After some effort, you manage to get a fire started in the hearth. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, now that I'm warming up, I'm starting to feel better. Um, we might as well do this to stay warm, right? Mm. <laughs> I gonna say they move in. I wonder where we are. We were walking for a while, so we must be pretty far into the mountains. I wonder if everyone's worried about us. This reminds me of the time that I was trapped in the TV world. Considering that I was rescued from that mm. terrible situation, I have to stay strong and trust in my friends. And well, I'm not.
not alone right now. When I'm with you, I'm not so worried about what's going to happen. Oh, um, I mean, uh, I... TV just turned on? Did, did that TV over there turn on for a second? Why would it do that? Yeah, you're right. Huh? Wait, don't! He's going, don't we? You shouldn't do that now. This just isn't the place. Well, please, be careful. Yep. What are oh. you guys doing? I won't allow it! Stop! You can't just give in to your passions! Huh? Teddy? Everybody! They're still dressed. Tuh. Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? <laughs> Do I really have to spell it out for you? Everyone's just got like the tensions on their mind. Did you all come to rescue us? Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that that isn't the case? Yuki-chan, were you waiting for an audience? What daring lovers! Don't mess up. <laughs> How shameless! But okay, I'll take a front row seat and... What? What are you talking about? The hell? Wait! Were you waiting outside this whole time? No, we just got here, really! It's just... We didn't know exactly when to make our move. That's so mean! So you were listening to us? Our lives were at stake, you know? No, no! We really did come because we were worried! Whatever. What were the two of you doing shoving each other around in here? We were checking this TV. Why? What happened? It turned on. Oh, come on! It was the TV! <laughs> it's true! You're all misunderstanding things! Everyone is staring at you in contempt. You just really explained what happened just now. Huh. So, you got lost, found this building, and then things started heating up. Everyone needs to calm down. I can't down. believe this! We were so worried, and here you are sneaking behind our backs. Hey, we did nothing of the sort. The TV just turned on, and it's not even plugged in. That's why we had to check it out. And why would we come to a cottage out in the woods if we weren't lost? Uh, this place is right behind the lodge. Yeah. It's a storage shed. They don't bother locking it when there's nothing inside. Yeah, it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. And why would the TV turn itself on? That whole case is over. Maybe you just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. But then again, I don't think Yukiko would lie about something like that. You might as well check it out. Are you getting bamboozled by the storm? Uh, hey, wait a sec. No. Whoa. Oh, Margaret. What's going on? Let's have the coat. At this rate. They say I don't think we're, we're out muscling, Margaret. Nice little bird trip. Oh, it's still going. I figured it would have stopped. It seems. Gosh, standing straight tall. My. <laughs>
Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. <laughs> Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? She's my sweetheart. Friend of sorts. F friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. Yeah, we meet for you. the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Mm, well, can we trust her? Of course. Uh, I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. You about Marie? Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. It has to be taken to where Maria is. Is she here? This is the Hollow Forest. The closed realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Hmm. Why? I do not know everything. But, as you know, she was searching for her memory. And by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone is worried about Marie. What should you do? You explained that Marie had lost her memory that she's currently missing. Emmy-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, Emmy correct? Marie. A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone, rather she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here? Does that mean Marie-san has the persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. Ooh, she like Teddy. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Hold on. This is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... He is in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead and search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Is it not dangerous? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. I'm probably good. I'm pretty stacked. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but... You are also like Marie-san? A resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers. As I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. 
It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. Oh. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the hollow forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. We'll lose our memories? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? We'll forget. I understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Interesting concepts. Hey, hey, hey wait! Uh, please? Let's go. It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. <laughs> we cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! That's what we're gonna call it an episode. It's been a bit of a long one. I apologize. Um, I'm probably gonna split it up anyhow, so it's gonna be fine. But thanks everyone for being here. We enjoyed our ski trip. We got it through the vinyls, right? Uh, and we're at the end part where we have to make a decision if we save Marie or not. We have an option to just move on, and that part of the game pretty much never exists, or we can go through it, which is the option we're taking. So I hope you all enjoyed. I greatly appreciate you being here and hanging out. I'll check you next time. <laughs>